Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, we are taking a look at all of the mates in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. That is right, I have all of them. They're all here. I think. Uh, there may be a few missing, but it's all of the important ones. If something's missing, it's not important. It's that simple. And I'm going to be ranking them from best to worst, based on my opinion. The correct opinion. I'm just kidding. Um... But this is basically going to go over all of the mates and uh, just overall how I feel about them. Are they good? Are they high quality? Are they worth getting? Are they interesting in any capacity? Uh, yeah, pretty simple. Bike sucks. Book of Moon sucks. It doesn't do anything. Uh, the Instant Ramen doesn't do anything. They're super boring. All of these are super boring. Baguska is a C tier. Here's why. The Baguska noise is so unbearably bad. It is insufferable. If this didn't make any sound, it would be better. The fact that it makes a sound, the terribly tired tape ear, just hurts my ears. I'm sorry. Um, it's it's cute. I think it's cool. I think it's well made. It just, the sound makes me want to jump off of a bridge into a nice pool of lava. <clears throat> we have the burger, which kind of doesn't really do anything, but it's funny. Same with the car. The car is funny. Um, this one doesn't do anything. It's really boring. Cross Sheep also really just doesn't do anything. It's cute at least. So there's that. Uh, the crown doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything. This is really boring. This is also really boring. Um, this guy doesn't do anything. Girgia is cool. Girgia is one of the first ones that we're actually going to talk about because it plays rock, paper, scissors. That's it. That's all it does. And it's great. It's cool. And a lot of people are like, Oh, I can play rock, paper, scissors against this thing while my opponent combos off. And it's like, yeah, in theory, you can. But let's be honest, you're probably just staring at them, do their combo, and then just be like... I hate it here. Uh, anyway, Guy of the Fierce Knight is... B tier? I really don't like this one. I, like, its transform effect is whatever. So it's basically always the Fierce Knight, which is okay... I think, you, I think you have to go into, like, the extra deck or something like that. But all in all, it's just it's just kind of boring. It doesn't really do anything too exciting. The fact that this is deluxe is tragic. Uh, this one's bad. Kage to Kage is bad. The barrel! The barrel's pretty good. I like the barrel. It exists. There's a little spin. It's kind of cool. Uh, Karibo, he's just a guy. He's just a guy. Stratos looks uncanny. I don't... It looks so weird in game like it like it's high quality so i want to put it higher but like it looks so uncanny it, it it bothers me it bothers me it looks weird trash trash um yeah this one's okay i like genuinely had to think of which this one was because we have two of the blue eyes ones but this is chaos max and chaos max is fine like it doesn't it doesn't do anything interesting it's okay it's like a stock standard blue eyes mate um there's that maui cannon is uh funny moki moki sucks sorry uh pot of greed i pot of greed should have its own tier but i'm not gonna do that pot of greed is only associated to me in my brain with the most degenerate decks people playing the most awful, unbearable stuff that you have ever seen. Stun, uh, FTKs, absolute degenerate combos that lose to a singular hand trap when you never draw a hand trap. I just cannot associate Pot of Greed and that mate with anything positive, and it makes me want to pull my hair out. Next up, we have the Rabbit. Rabbit's fine, um, but change your mate, please. Dear Lanta, it looks awful. Uh, we have the, the Chicken, the Raven. It's okay. Uh, Sangan's pretty cool. He, he, I think the best thing about Sangan is when you get into a match, he just floats away. It's so funny. Uh, the, the, the new, um, oh, what is this card called? Flame Wingman. Flame Wing, Flame Wingman is pretty cool looking. Uh, he looks just rad as hell. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Not S tier. I know hero players would be like, nah, it's S tier. Um, it's good. Don't get me wrong, it's good, but I, I I wouldn't quite put it in S tier. I think there's a, it doesn't quite look as good in game, right, as like some of the other ones. Uh, and I think it's like it, it's overall okay, but it doesn't really do anything special. It's just kind of like standard, you know. Uh, Ovi Raptor looks really really good too. 
But again, very similarly, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, oh my goodness, they they shot on my boy. He looks he he looks tragic. Um, the fact that Shireg turned out the way that he did is just heartbreaking. Uh, first of all, he takes off his mask. Don't do that. That is the worst part about it. Genuinely, his face. Look, I don't know what it is. Konami cannot do faces with their mates. They just look so bad unless they are like. Like, something like this, where it's, you know, very clearly in a, a monster. Doing a face, a human face, always looks bad. Uh, Doggo. It's a dog. It spins. It roars. It's so good looking. It is, like, some of the high... This is the highest quality mate I've ever seen. It's so good. And, uh, and it spins, like, good boy. Uh, blue is really high quality as well. Blue is one of the good looking ones. It doesn't really do anything, but it does have really high quality and looks really clean. Uh, I, I just the way that it looks is very nice. Uh, why does Blue Eyes White Dragon look like fucking Play Doh? Why does it look like it's made of clay? It looks like its wings shouldn't work. I wish it was better. It looks nasty. Like, genuinely, this is just what Blue Eyes should have looked like. And then they should have made a better Chaos Max. And they just didn't. And it, it it's tragic. Right? Um, it's too, like, smooth as well. There's nothing going on with its wings, which is the most infuriating part. It just doesn't look... It, ugh, it's nasty. I, I, I love Blue Eyes. Okay? This is not me hating on Blue Eyes as a card or anything like that. It is just this mate. They did it dirty. And you know what? Similarly... They did dirty Dark Magician. Again, as I mentioned, they can't really do faces. They don't do faces very well. It's very frustrating. I wish they did faces better. But alas, it looks uncanny. It looks weird. Why is his skin blue? I get that it's blue in the card. But, like, it looks weird in a mate. It looks weird that he's blue. He's blue. No one's blue. Right? Um, it's, like, a weird coloring and shading. And he looks kind of clunky. And, it's, it's, uh, and he doesn't do anything interesting. He kind of does, but... Ugh. They really did these two dirty. It... Uh, frog. Frog. This one is absolutely just my personal opinion. It, this is my personal favorite mate. Is is totally awesome. Um, but, yeah, honestly, this one's not, like, insane or anything. Uh, but I like frog. So, frog. White baking's pretty cool. He's, he's just baking potatoes. He's pretty cool. I like him. I like his animation with the fire. I think the fire looks good. I think overall he looks great. Um, the the biggest problem I have is this does not look like a potato. It looks so bad. Uh, Gazelle is pretty good as well. Very high quality. I like its little prance. It, it, it's just like an overall solid mate. I don't really have anything else to say. It's just just cool looking. Uh, Trishula just doesn't really work. It looks it looks very bad in game. Not quite as bad as Blue Eyes, but not not that great. Ash Blossom. I despise this thing. I'm, I I despise it. Uh, but real, realistically, it's not that bad. Uh, Infinity. I, it has been a while since I've seen Infinity and Boraland uh, or Boraload. Both of them are fine. They're they came with a very start of the game, and so they don't quite have that same quality as some of the later ones, like Abomination or Ov Raptor or something like that. Um, but they're still very solid. They're they're okay. Uh, Pearly is incredible. Wow, it's so nice. It I think one of the greatest things is the outline that they gave it. I wish Totally Awesome had this outline because it would make it so much better. Um, but yeah. Dear Atlanta, this is one of the highest quality ones. It looks super good. It's super cute. It has nice animations. It's just solid all around. Um, it's not perfect, but it's very good. Hanzo is pretty boring, but he, he's still high quality, so we'll we'll put him there. Uh, Revengerid looks super sick. This this one just looks insanely good. Uh, Revengerid Slayer is goaded. This is probably my personal least favorite because I see it all of the time. Dear Lanta, the amount of weebs that play this game is expected. But that doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. The amount of players that use this mate in particular, it like it's fine. It's a good mate. But I can't stand it. I'm so sick and tired of it. Burn in hell. Uh, 
Ancient Gear Wyvern used to be the best one. It's just okay now. Uh, Gamma doesn't do anything and is really annoying. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I have never actually seen this one. I don't think I've ever seen anyone use this. Does anyone use this? I don't know. We'll put it there. Uh, Doggo. Doggo is great. Doggo is good. Doggo does well. I like Doggo. The, the biggest problem with this one, though, and why it's not going higher, even though it's already in S tier, the biggest problem is that when you hit the opponent, or when you get hit, and that mate is there, the sound that it makes breaks my heart. It's too sad. I can't I can't appreciate it fully because it's too sad. Um, next up we have this one. This one looks so weird in game. Like it's fine when you look at it here, but like actually in game, it just kind of sits there. It doesn't really do anything, and it's not like pleasing to look at. Like it looks cool when you see it when you load into the game, or like as you're loading into the game. But then actually in game, it's really just kind of mid. Uh, this one doesn't do anything and is kind of just there. See, this one's like really bad. Uh, same with this one. 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 They all don't do anything. This one's slightly better, but not by much. Jack o' Lantern is actually so good. It's so clean. It's so cool. It does the little spookies, which I think is very nice. And it's very, like, to be fair, I'm putting it in S tier because I love Halloween and I do think that Jack o' Lantern. Ghost Trick Jack-O-Lantern is fantastic representation for the Halloween uh, season, and uh, because of that, it is solely going in S tier because of that, but it is still very good. That, that's all. It's just, it's just very good. Anyway, that's it for the list. Uh, hopefully you guys did indeed enjoy, but yeah, tell me down below what your favorite mate is. Obviously, this is very subjective. You may be like, nah, the blue eyes looks fine. It's absolutely A-OK, -okay, and I think it's the best one. And honestly, you can have that. You can be like, oh, Baguska's sounds don't matter to me. It's fine. You can be like, oh, it's funny running Book of Moon, because it just opens to a bunch of blue pages that don't mean anything. And it's like, oh, cool. It's entirely up to you. The only one that I will objectively say you are not allowed to say is your favorite is uh, Laundry Dragon Maid, because if you do, I will find you, and I'll hunt you down stick a q-tip in your ear to get that gunk out of there because clearly you have a uh, issues i don't know what i'm talking about i'm losing my mind and i'm gonna go to sleep uh thank you guys so much for watching hope that you guys did indeed enjoy if you did i like us very much so appreciate it and remember to always stay frosty Bye bye shout out to the frost guard my members thank you guys so much for the support and i hope you enjoy the content